Hey guys, I have decided to do a two-part series on writing. Since I am a writer, I thought I might be able to help some of you new writers out. If you are a veteran writer and have written for a while, you probably don't want to watch this because I'm not going to tell you anything that you don't know. First of all, if you're doing NaNoWriMo, or even writing at all, if you're a new writer, buy this book, No Plot, No Problem by Chris Beatty. Batty, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. It's spelled B-A-T-Y. Buy it. Use it. It's great. It will help a lot. Um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that nothing that I can say, nothing that any author can say, can make you write your book. No magical words can get you out of writer's block and make you want to write an entire, entire novel the entire time that you're writing it. Eventually, at some point, you're going to say, want to say, no, I'm done, I quit. You're going to look like this, and you might cry. I didn't cry, but I almost did several times. Um, if you are suffering from writer's block, I highly recommend this book. It is the writer's block. Each page has a different um, writing prompt that can be really help helpful, especially if you just want to do some drabbles or something to get your creative juices flowing again. I really don't like the phrase creative juices and I'm not sure why I used it, but I did. So the really important thing when you're about to start a book is to write the genre that you like. I did not take this advice. It seems like a really simple thing to do, but I wrote nonfiction and I did not like nonfiction at all. I didn't write nonfiction for NaNoWriMo, but I did it for. Uh, it's a really short ebook that I'm about to publish. It's about photography. I love photography. I thought I would be interested in it. I enjoy photography, not reading about photography. So, I I enjoy reading fiction. I wrote a young adult fiction novel. I don't really enjoy young adult fiction, but I thought it was the best way to portray the idea I was trying to portray. So I wrote young adult fiction. I will never write young adult fiction again, probably, because it was really hard to write, but I did enjoy writing it. Know the f genre that you're writing in. If you're writing thrillers, make sure you have original material. It's really hard to write an original thriller. There are so many cliches that get written into them, and we just keep using them again and again and again, and frankly, thriller readers are tired of reading them, because every novel seems to read the same way. If you're writing comedy, know it's funny. That sounds really, really, really simple, like writing the genre that you like, but so many people try to write comedy, and it just feels very stiff and forced. Know that you can make people laugh know what makes people laugh. Write down funny conversations, use them in your book. You probably cannot invent completely funny scenarios in your own head, but you have to look at what's around you and glean from that. Um, I can't think of any other advice for picking genres. That's all up to you. Whatever ideas you have, write them. Just, and then just keep writing. Don't quit writing. That's all you can do is just keep going. It's You're going to hate it sometimes. You are going to despise your work. You're going to think you're a terrible author. And maybe you are. But you're probably not. So you might make bad pieces, but everybody does that, especially when they're first learning. Keep writing, and if you are done writing your rough draft, then you can watch the next video which is on editing. Even if you haven't written your rough draft, you might want to watch it to sh tell you what's in store for you. Just to make sure you want to keep writing your novel now. 